Topic and discussion is relationship and marriage. Relationship and marriage. Yeah. You should you should be able to see the topic when you look at my when you get my alert. I want to welcome you for coming on. Yeah. It's about marriage and relationship and status. Marriage, relationships, and status. Is it true women can have the same position as men at home? What is causing problems in marriage and relationship? Is women ego or pride affecting their dealings with their man? Join me right now, 07908 
0709086282840. So if you look at the profile and the chat line, the topic is there. So it's not changing. It's still the same. You know, it's not changing at all. We have 07908 Marriage and relationship marriage or relationship and status. Is it true women can have the same position as men at home? So can a woman have the same position as a man in the house? What is causing problems in marriage and relationship? Can we say women ego or pride is affecting their dealings with their man? I'm live right now in chat, you can see me live. particular date or time that I come on, but I like it that way, because we have to work with wisdom. We can't just be coming on without having something important to discuss. There are two reasons why this topic came on today. The problem has been in my mind, but God has used some people to let it come on today. I've been very careful about this topic so that I don't step on people's toes. But the way it happens coincidentally yesterday, it allows me to know that there is no stepping on toes. What needs to be said needs to be said at large and give advice on it. And you know me, I will give advice. Thank you for coming on one by one. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for coming on. You know, I'm trying to find a ba balancing point as to where I can uh, where I can have my what is it called? Where I can have uh, light. You know, the light is what is killing us. Yeah, I'm trying to get balancing point. Where to find light? So thank you for coming on one by one. God bless you. Good morning, my dear. You're highly favored. It's only when we're on this planet that we can do things that we love. That we can embrace each other, we can worship each other. We can help each other, we can advise each other. She hasn't taught school of her advice, 
So it's on this panel that we have to do things. Good morning, good job, thank you. Good morning, Daddy. Good morning. Well done for coming on. Well, bless you. Alert others, let them come in. It's an important topic. Don't let them miss the original topic. Don't let them miss it. This is important in our dealings. It's very important. Thank you too. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. For your appreciation. God bless you. Thank you. God wants people that can appreciate their people and can do thank you. Thank you. Bless you. <laughs> Without prejudice is the way we are going to talk today. Without prejudice, but we are not going to be biased. You know that's what I say. Without prejudice, without being biased. So we need to talk smoothly and and, and respect others' feelings as well. You know we have to respect others' feelings. So we have to speak without prejudice, without being biased. You know, without being biased. Because if we continue to talk and blame and put blame, shift blame, shift blame, then we're not going to resolve to anywhere. We're not going to get anything. So we can't afford to shift blame all the time. You know, we can't. There's no way we can continue to shift blame. We're talking about marriage or, and relationship. Marriage or relationship is the woman's ego affecting her dealings in the house. Is it affecting her relationship? How is man handling it in the house? What can we do to blend things? <laughs> Thank you. I want both sex to be online, men and women to be online. I don't want you to run away because I talk about I want to talk about a particular thing. I want to look at the I want to look at both sides. That's the whole idea. Relationship expert. We want to look at both sides and see how we can move on. You know, how we can give advice. It works. I'll tell you the reason why it works, why this thing is working. I'll tell you, I'll tell you why the topic comes on straight away today. I've always had this topic in mind. But I don't know how to put it through. But two people made it happen today. By their tongue, they didn't know that I have it in mind. But God used them to, to let me use this topic today. Two people. Coming you on board one by one. God bless you as you are coming on. I know alone with if you were silent, I don't know why delay one idea on our mood. Without God, it's impossible to please anybody. You know, we don't have Christ, we can't please. You know, to please God, you've got to have your faith. And without faith, you cannot please God. I think that's in the book of Hebrew. You know, you have to find a way to please God. But it's only by faith you can please God. So if you are a lawyer, if you're anybody, if you don't have God, you're wasting your time. Because he speaks. So you have to hear through your ear. Thank you. Bless you. I know it's in Hebrew. Thank you. Hebrew 11 verse 6. It is impossible to please God without faith. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are highly appreciated. I appreciate you. You can't please God if you don't have faith in what you are doing. If you don't have faith and believe in people, to somebody you are dealing with, you can't please me. You can't please God. You've got to believe in me. 
come on board. Let's talk about this thing. Let's resolve it. Let's reduce the amount of problem. Let's reduce the numbers. Statistics is telling us that it's increasing now. Breaking home marriage separation, relationship separation is increasing. Forget about the issue of domestic violence. That's another part that I have always been talking about. Once we have the particular figure we are waiting for, we will crack on. But there has to be a figure on, you know, so that it can go viral. I can get that statement back and, and pin it down. I, I wish I can get your statement back, you know, Karen, so I can pin that statement down. Hmm. Okay, let's crack on. Let's crack on now. Let's crack on. Good morning to you all. I don't have to introduce myself again. Unless if we have new person just coming on without knowing that it's on my page. My name is Loya Tukumbo Like by Emejo Kinjasha. So if you have new person coming on, just jump into that page without knowing who is on the page. Then I'd introduce myself to you, Loya Tukumbo Like by That is my name. I'm a qualified solicitor in the UK and a senior immigration advisor specialist in the United Kingdom. So you are on my page if you are there in, uh, accidentally. You are not there by accident. There is a reason why you are there. So I'm trying to, I introduce myself. I run my own practice in the United Kingdom and I deal with all the job of uh, work of immigration and nationality law from, both, from the beginning to the end. So I have no restriction in my immigration uh, expertise, you know. But basically, the reason why I have, I, the reason why I do topics aside immigration work or law work is to stand out with my advocacy, my public speaking, is to stand out. And master's degree shape you, apart from practicalities in law. Master's shape you and tell you that, listen, sky is the starting point. When you study law and you have a master's degree and you are in practice, is the starting point for those who are clever and intelligent. It's not the end of it. It's just the starting point. In master's degree, they open you up to things of life and tell you various topics, various issues that can come on your way as a lawyer. So as a result of that, you should be able to deal with topics and advice in it. And especially when you, you, you see practical every day and see things happening, especially from clients and in your relationship, then you can tell straight away that you are an expert by advice you give and how it works on people that you have been dealing with. Now, over the last 24 years, I have got immense experience. I know that I have not got experience as much like, like that of my mother last night. I know I haven't got that much of experience like her, but I know that I have, I have imparted life in terms of shaping them and advising them and letting them know how to carry on with things when it's becoming a bit complex. But yesterday was a day that I want to know, I want to say that when God speaks and God wants to send you an errand, he used some people to talk and you will not know coincidentally now the first thing is that a client i don't know whether it was the last client i saw before going out yesterday i'm not too sure that client was a he client he came with a she which is his partner the partner is not from nigeria but he is from nigeria and it's my tribe yoruba 
So what happened is that when we were chatting during the time I was doing this application, because I always like to relax my clients, let them watch films in my office and chat them and, look, and just want to know their mind. I want to know what they are going through, both he and she. Although at the beginning, the lady appeared to be arrogant when she came in. But by the time I start talking to the husband and talk to her, she come down and, and see that, oh, this lawyer is not arrogant. That's the point I want to give in that area. But as we were talking, the guy said to me that, oh, I, madam, I thank you for the work you are doing, that I, I always look at your work on YouTube. He then later on said that, boy, you are always supporting women. That, that shocked my mind. Straight away, that pinched my heart and said, oh my God, but I didn't show it in my face. He said that, oh, even though you enjoy watching me and talking and listening to me because it's wisdom, it's, it's intelligent, it's this, it's pretty, it's beauty, it's that. He ended up telling me in between that, oh, I see that you're always giving women soft touch than men, and it's not like that. So he's now said to me that, when are you going to consider talking about relationship and marriage? So I said to him that I've always been thinking of it, but I haven't found the binding point as to the right time to speak about it. I see that will be the end of that discussion. Last yesterday, yesterday evening, I was at Shiloh at Mama Jai, Reverend Esther Bimbola Jai. Yesterday was Wednesday. So I was at Shiloh evening. I said to you last week that Shiloh is not about somebody who is barren. Shiloh is about someone who is expecting something from God. Somebody who is trusting God in a different way, either in your work, in your life, in your journey, in your career. That is what Shiloh is, either spiritually. If you want to grow spiritually, you need to be at Shiloh and speak one-to-one -to, -one to God and hear the voice. So I was at Shiloh with my, um, my Reverend Abimbola at Esther Jai, with the respect at the Love of Christ Generations in Clapham yesterday evening. Now, to cut the long story short, what I realized from her speech yesterday is that she took pick on marriage and relationship, and she was pouring it into our head as if tomorrow will not come. That, ah, most of you lose your marriage because of your ego. Most of you do this, most of you do that. Ah, Mui, why my husband? I trust you. You know me now. You know what kind of boyfriend and girlfriend talk that they have, they have begun in the, probably in the early 70s. They are still carrying it on. They are still carrying that talk on. Even me that I'm saying that I'm, in, I'm 24 years in my own. My own is even smaller than, to that of her, that the way she was talking yesterday. That really encourages me, my heart. And that's at the same time when she was talking. The Holy Spirit said to me that that is the topic I want you to talk about. That is the topic I want you to discuss. So I was listening to that voice inside me saying that that is the topic you want me to talk about tomorrow. But I don't have no intention to come on board today in the first instance. But because someone has talked talk about relationship and marriage in the office, and Mama again picked it on again in our church yesterday, that allows me to say, okay, I have to listen to this voice. I need to talk about this topic. And that is why I am, I am coming up with this topic today. Is our ego ruining our marriage, our relationship? Do we think we can have it on 50-50 with men? Our man, can we have it? Can we share it? as one-to-one, 50-50 one, with our man in the house. What is going on? Why are we experiencing problem or turbulence in relationship? Why there is so much divorce, breaking home, separation, violence? Is it as a result of status not being granted? Or is it as a status being better than your husband? Or having money or being a professional person? What is the problem? I want to hear you. But before going into that in depth, you must have close relationship. You must have close relationship with God. If you don't have relationship with God, you're not going to hear voice. You're not going to know when he's speaking. Listen, I want to testify to the goodness of God about the church of love of Christ church that I went to. I haven't done anything, so don't even expect anything. But I just want to tell you that when God is speaking, you must listen. I have heard about Mama for many time, long time ago, but I'm very busy to have time to go to people. And I'm always thinking that I don't want people to think that maybe Mufewa Toron Kona, Mufewa Shekini Kwe, Mufewa Mbame, Mufewa Shai Gon, so Mufewa Mbame was a bit laid back, and it's the upbringing that my parents put into us. Oma Ticha Niwa, Oma Lako Wei, that you don't just go to people and go and be asking, asking. Go and do it yourself and find a way to get it done. 
The only thing you can go to people to do is to find a way how they do their own. Like Jesus says to his disciple, I'm not going to give you fish. I'm going to show you how to fish and give them nets, how to catch that fish in the sea. So I've always been reluctant to go to Mama, like I said last week. But last week, there is a spirit that is purging into me and disturbing me and saying, Ojelo, Ojelo, Ojelo. And I'll say to myself that, ah, woman, right? But what really makes me now went is that when I, I said to you last at uh, that time that Oni, oh, when Oni oh, spoke with me on the phone, I've not met with Oni, oh, but Oni oh, is always speaking with me on oh, this my good pal on the phone. So when Oni oh, spoke with me, I said, do I live the question he asked on the phone was that, ah, show beragani, show beragani, show beraga. He kept repeating that statement. So I said to myself that, ah, around for me, I hope Mama and Oni has not spoken. But I don't think so. But that thing is making me, and I've spoken with Mama that I want to come to our church to deliver seminar. And Mama has spoken vividly very well with me, without even knowing who I am. But when the Holy Spirit was pushing me there, Oje Law, Oje Law, Oje Law, thank God that I went yet last week. If I had not went last week, my case would have been like Baba Ajose, Baba Bada, Baba Agbausi, Baba Janle Koko. Listen, if I had not gone last week, my case would have been similar to Baba Agbausi, Baba Janle Koko, Baba Bada, Baba Ajose. And those who know Celestia's story very well, we know where I'm heading to on those guys. Agbausi, Bada, Ajane Koko, Ajoshe. You will have known the story. So I went last week to go and say to Mama the reason why I came. Because Mama had already said to me that, ah, me okinshi or okiri. If you want to deal with me, you have to come to my church. So that is another headache. Time to go from Woolish to my office. If I go home, I will knock up because of the distance. But from Woolish again, the distance is heavy. So I was thinking, but it's the Satan that is making me lazy. If I had God driver to drive me there, I would have gone peacefully a long time ago. But it's laziness in drive, it's not pride. It's just the laziness. We like to drive down here. But when Holy Spirit pushed me, I went. So I went to Mama last week. And to God have the glory, as soon as I knelt before her and I said, Mommy, in Kabai by last blood, don't discuss. Only that is fine. Immediately, Mama called the person in charge of event planner. And the person was one of my guys anyway, because 90% of Mama's congregation knows me very well. They know my capability. So immediately, the guy ran to me and said, ah, madam, madam, madam. So we spoke at length, and mommy said, ah, give her a date. Go and look at your diary and give her a date. If I had not gone, gone last week, this week that I went yesterday, another person came. Come for the lawyer. Offer to introduce his share, mama. But you offer seminar, me or more, me or more. But the top of the topic is that I have come and I've gained ground immediately. I have got the date, I've got my chance. It's not about money. Because delivering, delivering seminar in Mama's church is going to be exposure. It's going to be exposure. And I just want Mama to see my stuff. To Mama to see what I'm capable of without being proud. Mama to know that the people that are in, in our church there, they need that services badly. And when people are not settled with status, they are serving God will be immediately laid back. It will, it will be... Hey, hey, kill a fellow of the same church, young girl. Ah, Kuku Bank, you cannot get that in that in bad way so long. But when you have information at right hand, it takes you away from your thinking, from your sorrow, from your problem. It moves you to another ladder, ladder entirely. That's the whole idea. The book of Ozia says that my people perish because they don't have information. So when people go to church all the time, you cannot serve God with your heart if you are not happy. That's the point. That's the whole idea of me coming to going to churches to preach that sermons, to tell people what I am capable of doing. It's true I am not a legal aided lawyer. I am a private lawyer, but I don't charge to kill. In fact, if my mom loves, my mom can retain me as a, as the lawyer in the office in the church, so that people can be taking that advice from time to time and don't and they don't fall into wrong hands. That one is another topic I will deal with. I will discuss with my mom later on. But in a nutshell. The advice I want to give to people out there, when you call yourself a professional person and you want to go and sell your business, you have to look presentable. Your dressing code must be showing that you are a professional person. You cannot appear with somebody of that taste and dress less and expect her to believe your talk. 
That is what my father has put inside us since we were younger. When you go out, you have to be presentable in any ramification. The suit I was wearing yesterday, I bought it from Hobbs about a year ago. And that is how I buy my suit. I buy my suit from Hobbs. They are 300 pounds, 400, 500 pounds. But at least when I wear them to court, they are presentable. The judges respect me, I respect them. The people that I go to, they respect me because of my dressing, because of my look, because of my personality. You cannot go and sell business and not presentable. When I saw the person yesterday, I feel sorry in my heart. I'm not trying to talk down on people. But business, you got to look presentable. Oh, the love present I like a lot of talking there, Cassia, and uncle, one look like any, any titty, any lele. Why do you think people of that substance of KBS speak to me on the phone without having seen me? It is my look, it's my personality, it is my kajo that impress them the way I talk. It's not for any other reason. They impress because I promote my culture, my tribe. I did not because I come to England or because I was born in UK. I ignore my personality. No. Yes, yes, but not Mama's church. So we have to make it clear. The church, not Mama's church. Mama is a woman, so I know what she's capable of doing. So the whole idea of yesterday talk is that I have gained ground before she came. So nobody can compete with me. I don't go to a place without Holy Spirit sending me. I walk in God, God walk in me. Oh Mala Dele me. One man dari a mini emi o king by information. Emi o lay on to my connect the mama ma. So basso kwe ni kolo introduce si mama. Kosen to introduce mi si mama. O gu o mu lo introduce mi lo so kwe lo kwe lo ba. O nshe gbe raga. Ti o gu o mu ba wa kwe lwe nyan. Bobo kote nyan ba shi mama dari e nyan ni. To ba to time wa pa di oba wa pa di ijo e wa pa di bobo u koto wa ta nyan. A koko ni bobo unkan. Everything is about time. Time to lat ba di mama ni. When mama first started, I know everything about what people have been saying. But the problem of me is that I don't listen to stupid gossip. I want to see things myself. I want to believe things myself. So you don't say gossip to me. So I've gained ground there. And let me tell you, 23rd of September is loading. Oh, the mark, my only church in mama. 23rd of September is loading. So a cousin put your diary down. To come by like by It's going to be at the Love of Christ Church Generations in Clapham on 23rd of September. It's going to be loud. You know what I'm what I, I always put in. I'm still gonna have one to one meeting with Mama as we speak. Me look at the meeting with Mama. So can you mean Mama T best ne carry rumors of anything? I want to post Lapo, want to post Lock or Lush and stuff. Throw this of us on me. I've been told Pony Sokus on me, Sokus on the man's own tate, but he will be in your Mama so want to post Sapo in your school signature. Me will tell you, Mama, you want to one other than that. I have to pack on the last week. I joke on it and bamba, ni church in your auditorium. But me will tell Lori Mama, and it can't send it. Buddha Shima Lori, I don't give a mug to your talk. Mushima Lori Mama, you want to one. Me told me, I don't know about fingers in bed, only she competition for the law, Lucy, see the law, look with slack book. So, yeah, don't bother, I think I told Jerry, I don't mind Jenny, forget how it happens. Mass of making my bank account, they may think that Kenny, book bow, roll on, and book bow me, motive you won't fist in your motive, you roll motive, sanitize or woman, come on, no work, but no, she can phone me, I want to be jealous. Do you understand? I have already sanitized my hand with your anointing oil. The water I got from her last week and this week, Moti Yasmima again, Moti Busi Mugoffis in me, or Ulo Soro, or Wolo War, to a lot of Bafa Yah, yeah, but Bafa Mue Jan, but Bafa Mue Fu, Yarai Coco, and you cannot do my lady day from nowhere. And I still have other my ladies out there to bad draft for me. I am not proud. I've got my ladies out there. No, near when you're telling me. You understand? Oh, the one who I hear come along, my lad, you're all on back. You're all on back. But where you come after one co say a lap with tobacco in lap or not of our co say a lap. Do you understand? Two of us say a lap book, say a tick with tobacco machine, Gregor. Tobacco mat to sold the table be by my meat and lecon for us in bank, my cotton to take my cotton to me, and my watch you own ocean and load body, loading me. You are just loading. You know, I love you, Daddy. So it's just loading. So 23rd of September is loading. What is boom? Because I want to fill that church. But as time goes on, my mama fully. 
I am just doing shilo now. Let it work you learn. But in bad day time, position you will let it get in church or don't. Mister, I bad day on my way to run. I'm your mother. I work for God without looking back. So when I'm ready, you understand. When I'm ready, my wallet full in it. But at the moment, I'm doing shilo. I'm enjoying shilo every Wednesday because I am trusting God in so many things. To bad day, but I'm a lag bar. I'm alone. Come on, la. Oh God, I'm losing shilo. Come on, we could just go back to our own one. I'm telling you, when you are dealing with people of substance, people with names, people who doesn't care, they don't make, they don't lose anything. If you if you think you are, you are fighting them, so in that in that situation, you need to go to Shiloh and let God do the battle for you. I have a battle at hand, and I'm not joking. But it's only God that can fight that battle for me, and that is when you are dealing with people of contact, people in, people in high places, people that are connected. You got to have relationship with God. Because if you don't have relationship with God, and last one she, and last one she, please, I've learned lesson. And last one she, that is why it's most you rock paras Shilo. And the reason why I'm staying with Shilo, with Mama, oh, we pay obi reni one, obi reni one one marry one day for you on on your one, in day one, she on the one day man saw a bit, be bluntly. You understand one shock until Mama will beauty, until Mama will wear, until Mama will concentrate, until they call it bad bra, eh? When I was in church, I would concentrate. I have never worshipped in any white garment in this country, me in the parrot, but I always attended their invitations, their harvest. But me would see service with the Mori, pay more by drab lunch, she just in the white garment. Mama is the first church in the United Kingdom. Tima lost her service with the white garment. But white garment is not a it's not a story to me from Nigeria. Moloke and Ness Mumba Sele, Mutu Jemot Mutu Joy, I'm a matron in Celestia, Mother Celestia. Matu Joy, Niki and Ness, like Bewa Matumba, O Yoki, share your con, the Kotomati Kauri, where Mamma Balo, and Mamma Banu, and Mamma Ba. So I just want to encourage you guys. You just have to stop rumors and concentrate with your God. But Milshi, but Bebo Shele, praise God, trust God. And you need a destiny helper. It comes to a certain stage in life when you are moving on in life. To Batin Goki Agba, one more we pay, Kini Mio Ledashimon. I need a destiny helper. I know I'm your mother. What? All along with the diet, I come around. I know I'm your mercy. But yeah, God is just God too beautiful. God will send you a destiny helper. At the moment you reach that place, you are going to fall in love with destiny helper. And so you pay. Oh, go you go for a penny, me for me. You understand? You talk about what can shock me. Oh, just go easy for me. Let my love be. Oh, can shock me. Oh, just keep on me balling. You pay. Yes, I'd rather you take go kill up. I dry I did it work back. Matit mat along I did take bar in cotimo in little while like bara yen. Along I did bar me bar. Tobik in shag bara me, lati connect my lag bara, lati collect more loco, lat collect more and it told me what to ja or lola should more to bat to certain stage. I won't come out to my fight it the way dinner. She buy me, she buy, she buy me, she buy. Oh they fight that duro. Should want to know okay, none why you say with a belly. In jail, you can walk what you're long with it. I do not tell you so the petale. Oh, no, me lost a shilo. Nick Batil, you never don't turn. Mark Father, what shall I hear from you? That I'm at shilo every Wednesday. Toban, why me to Baba me? Lawyer, to why Jesus loved he lost all the extra beam bola ajay. I get it. That's the way I love it. I just love that place. I just love her because has what I notice is that. From 7.30 to 10 o'clock, he wasn't boring. You know you are in the church within 30 minutes, and you're your time go to sue. But most of my parents, 7.30 to 10, I know, me tell me, time to long. I get to my house about to 12. But I was pleased, because my husband knows that I have gone to Esther Bimbola, Jai, Mami. So, I was going to go to the house, 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 you understand? But that is life. That is life. You understand? That is life. You got to know your destiny helper and hit it at the right time. Let's go to the reason why we are here today. Relationship and marriage. Is there any reason why there is so many turbulence in marriage? Let's eat the nail on the head. Bless you all for coming on board. Is there anything? Keep going to the power. Hala, you know, it's your work. At your report. The local lawyer. Keep going to the power. Keep going to the power. Keep going to the power. So if you want to keep going to the power. Keep going to the Eh? What is the problem? Why are we having that problem? Why is it so much turbulence in marriage? Is it the ego is it? Is it your status? Is it because you earn more money? Or is it because you own British passport? Is that why you think your man cannot have a control over you? Chat me on now. Call me on 07908 628240.
0790862840. We are live right now. Let's enjoy each other. To Kumbolag by Let's enjoy it, man. You cannot please God if you don't have faith in what you are doing. It is impossible. You know, it is impossible. So let's crack on and see what we, what we can do for each other today. Are you there? 07908 Kilo for problem, to for problem, What is causing turbulence in marriage? The egoism, the pride, the status you are holding, the position at work, or your family background? What is the problem? Is it the man that is so violent, that is so unrest in his personality? What is the problem? Hello, thank you for calling in. Hey, Carol, thank you, expert. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, go. Yes, so <laughs> thank you, man. I love you so so much. I love you too, man. So so much. You like it, you like it. Honestly. like it, the like it, you like it. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Ah, Honestly, any so called woman to one Yes, ma. Will it talk about grand? for something like this. I one of last week or something. No, I was here. But grand, so master. But grand is a what for course. It's about only last week. Any, you know, budget that is that is. You feel a court to that is that is marriage is the work. I did see your cover the director, you see your work, I did that is that is. Only work. Hmm. In my own case, so. Upon me, the time. Bagan, I made the yato. In me, in the solar bar, I must be daddy. Hmm. Charlie, daddy, then you must see me. Hmm. What to me, we know that I last me, 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 wawa. When she must say, hmm, one, daddy, lot of two. Library. Let's <laughs> Because of where my protesting and money. At the end of the day, all of them were helped with me. The best thing you want for your dear dear. See, to know how to tell us to our own car. Most of the children in the union. In a talk of your job, go to Kokuru, you know. All of Nigeria can put the local for you. To be taken in Munta, the number one. Number two, who won't lay for me? Who told you I won't lay on the moon? So, Sherry, you know, you're a kind of lag bara. Move up number one background, number two, Jen Lofty. Hmm. See, Jen Lofty starts to allow me to go there for sick of it, for sick of the nation. I call me what to my Laura, if we are with Puya, my cotton, my shebai. Then, what they don't want, I know, or my shebai, if we need. 
Okay, ma, okay, ma. Very good, ma. But <laughs> Kato Loma, Kato Loma, you mentioned yes. that your husband moved out of house before yes. your arriving back from Nigeria on your yes. on your business trip yes. or holiday. Yes. Was yes. there any sign at all before you travel? Did he ever no say to you that don't go? No. No. Do, do you usually I have. have... Wow. And he's the father yes. of those five children? Yes. Wow. Hmm. Ben. But she won't be sure has he got a job? Does your husband have a job? Mm. Come on, you are to like it. Come on, 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 come Hmm. 
God is your strength. Somebody said it to you here. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Thank you, everybody that is, that is yeah, commenting there. Thank you so much. Mm. Thank you so Thank you, much. Ma yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Bless you. Thank you so much, yes, ma'am. Ma yes, ma yes, ma that was a powerful one. I don't know how you view it, but um, we are here to learn. And then we'll comment in the end and, and I'll give advice. I am not what I am not uh, old enough to give advice to some people, but I'm much, much older and, and experienced to give advice to some. Hold on. So I will give advice professionally, experience wise, age wise, um, dealings wise. I will give it, uh, advice. Because I don't want us to come on a topic without getting advice and solution to problem. You can see that I question that woman to find out whether there is something going on before the husband departed from the house. So, we'll come back to that. Yes, hello there. Hello, ma. Good morning. Ma. Good morning to you. Thank you. Please, please okay, contribute. Um, you have a, a good topic. Thank you. But well, I must say, when it comes to breakages and marriage breakups and all that, a lot has, um, it, it's a fault. It can be external forces, it can be internal forces. But I always say something. Before you bring in external forces, you have to, in the marriage, be sure that you want to be together. The problem is, most of us, we don't trust each other as singles or married couples. I, I'm talking to you, I was married, and um, the kind of marriage I had was initially beautiful from, from the university, I married, I didn't have any issue, I was plain minded, I'm not a party person, but my, my ex was a party person. He, he didn't have any qualms, I didn't have any qualms with him going to parties because um, the kind of job I do, I have to concentrate two for seven and I didn't have any problem with him being at the party. But it was at the party, he started messing up. And I don't believe that anybody can tame any man. A man that wants to be tamed, will be tamed. A man that you cannot tame, you cannot tame. And then I was obviously earning more money and living well. And before I knew what was happening, he had already, he already had another um, uh, kid, then somebody else had married him and everything. I didn't have a lot of problem with it because I was self-sufficient, so it was easy for me to move on. So as women, we have to be ready to move on at any point, be self-sufficient. As long as you don't bring pride in, a lot of women are prideful. I have been to a couple's house and I was telling her that if you try this with my husband, you will be out in the, in the cold. <laughs> because we tried, I, 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 she's my friend, but I have to tell her the truth. You understand? Yeah. And then the, on the issue of external forces, you remember how to say that, no give you a land, I would you Most of us expose ourselves. You see people on Facebook, they put their family, they, they, start, they, they live like they were not living before the advent of Facebook. Why? Why do they feel the need to expose everything about them on Facebook? I don't, I don't get it. Is it like you are bored? When I see people do that, with my own feelings, is, is something missing? Can you not find joy and happiness to yourself, keep it within yourself. The Roman said in Kota Babo, Lonnie, hmm. this 
out of you exposing your family that one girl will now be that one guy will now be you now expose yourself, you expose your family, then before you know what's happening, somebody will say, okay, I'm going to do this. I have been somewhere where it's a little bit mm -hmm. in the river, but one year, someone, the picture was here, where someone showed me, oh my bad for me. Hmm. And I can tell you that it happened. Hmm. So you just allow external forces into your marriage. Hmm. Then on the issue of our uh, spiritualist, pastor, apa, imam, all those people. We got on sharing no marriage, umulon jail. Because they don't want to go fair, go fair, for occurring. Oh, 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 marriage, what are they more? Because about we are, we are the way, or we are lost. You cannot do it and get away with it. You know, in, in Islam, they will say, hey, come and 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 Let them know what they're doing is wrong. I like, I just like to say, you know, I don't, I, I'm not, I don't agree with it. But you cannot, at the expense of somebody's emotion, do the mess you are doing. So all this, our spiritual issues, stop saying things. Some of us saw, I will not show my food on it. But I just don't wash my food on it. But they, you know, so many people believe in them. It, we were taught, Nigerians were taught to, to obey these people, to look up to them as God, because really they are the gods we see. But they are doing more harm than good. Exactly. In marriages. I'm telling you. Yeah. I know marriages that don't go yeah. to church or go to mosque, and they are doing so well. I know. Uh, when you put people that don't believe in all that, and they are doing so well. And I'm saying, for everything, everybody should look up and know that this is what I want to do. And occurring, this is what I want to do. Okay. I want to be happy. I want my wife to be happy. I don't believe. You have to submit. Women do not submit. If we're saying that we're taking religion, then let us follow the religion to, to the letter. Let us be submissive. Doesn't mean we are stupid. Let me tell you, most women that are submissive, you know that they are stupid. In fact, they get the best of the land in that marriage. Mm -hmm. You think the woman is just looking like God. She knows what she's doing. Mm -hmm. The ones that will now fight. I have my right. I have my right. If you fight, you fight for your right. You are still going to fight for your right. Hmm. But people answer that it is as well. It's like if you, I, my, my sister will say, when our husband starts, she will just smile. She's been passing in his school and come back. Hmm. Now, the, the marriage is old, almost 25 years. The man cannot make decisions without her. Not because she's bossy. But now, uh, <laughs> my wife has a way of thinking about these things. But she didn't get there in one day. So I'm not saying that life is, um, I'm not saying life is perfect. You know your mind. You know what I mean? You know what I You know what I You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Before this one said, she just went to Nigeria before she came back. I was not at this house. That is not impossible. Hmm. You understand? Hmm. But because you have God and you have your job, you have your tools, there is nothing. And then, um, for me to um, clean up this own, to finish my statement, most times, women, especially women, because we're most of happen, we have given the role of God to our husband. We have switched roles. We keep forgetting that men can fail us, but God can never fail us. You put a lot of expectation. You expect somebody to make you happy. Nobody can make anybody happy. You have to seek happiness for yourself. But it's only God that gives absolute joy. So look up to God for your joy. Be 50 50 in your, in your relationship, in your marriage. Be open minded. Look, for the people that you in your home, shake on you, Jello. There's always the law of karma. Love karma is a very nasty person. You are still in your marriage, auntie. Oh, yes. Okay. I'm in your marriage. Yes. 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 Yes.
Oh, no, no, no. Um, I've been married like four years ago. <laughs> okay, so you are talking about the first marriage? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much for your contribution. I really appreciate you. Thanks a lot. Okay, next caller. That is a Yoruba adage in my language. I'm a Yoruba. I'm a Yoruba. Nimi gang gang. You see all the education we have got in the universities. Sometimes I like to put them aside, and and promote my language, promote my culture. Only I Regina. La de la de between what if you do believe Jew. Then you are Regina, Dada. You will know that. Cases are different. So I like those people who always put it on Facebook and say, my case is different. When they do their profile, relationships is honey, my case is different. You think they were cracking joke. Their case is different. And this is why I address Secretary of State, the stakeholders, when I'm dealing with individual matters, that this is a different case entirely from what you may have known. This is the president, this is the law that goes with it. The case is different. And it's orange, you know. No to be Hello. Hello, dear. I'm coming. If you have traveled far, you will know that to compare to others, you haven't seen nothing. In relationship, yours is better. When you have traveled far, you interview people and you meet people in life, you will know that yours is even better. People have passed through a lot, either male or female. And when you think you you have money, you see people that have passed. When you think you have wisdom, people have passed. When you think you have knowledge, people have passed. You see, everything is about, I want to continue and better to better. To buy low rewa, I want to continue beautiful jewelry. To buy low handsome, some people are even more handsome. So you pay wari, you pay high kilo day. Change your little big berry. That is life. God does not make it equal. That is where I'm heading to. It's not possible to make things equal. Look at my fingers. We look at this, look at this, look at that, look at that, look at that. Are they equal? They're not. For us not accepting that those fingers are individually useful is why we are having a problem in relationship. For us not accepting that this middle finger, the job is going to do, will surprise you. And when it comes to this, this four cannot do anything if this is not there. Kill a five old. Kill a five old. I struggle. And take this off again. The struggle continues when you look at it. I was born, I told you, by well-educated family. They were born, they were trained in England. My parents are UK trained eloquent individual. So they trained me in a way that I should be able to differentiate between left and right. But there are some times in life. When situation is going beyond control, either you seek God's attention immediately or sought for superior advice. Listen, or when you're banning to my dash of winning, turn red and woe. Now, when you want to take advice, you are taking advice from a pastor that is reckless in his speaking, that is reckless in his dealings, that is reckless in his marriage. Of course, you will fall foul. Or you are taking advice from a friend. You're going to lose what you hold. But when you every proverb of my tribe has meaning. There has never been a time that I underestimate one proverb in Yoruba language. And Excuse me, sister, and excuse me, uncle. Mommy and daddy, like mama said yesterday, I need to me. Excuse me, father, mother, dear. You got to really know who you want to approach with your problem, who is going to solve it for you. God is God, and he will not share his seat with anybody. But then God gives some people power and place them in charge. Allah yelu wa soro kofu me wubba ni. Oni lo to ni igbagbo wa. Oni shubba olon u gbe a ye li a wong kan la wong li a ye. Oni a wong yon kan wong a ti olon u gbe a ye li la wong. Individually a wong kan wong. You need to consult them for advice. 
but you cannot afford to consult those who doesn't have experience or who, is the, who cannot even clean your shoes who you are better off what advice they're going to give you for example if i have turbulent and i'm 24 years in marriage in fact going to 25 years Am I going to be speaking to somebody with only 10 years experience? Of course, I will be speaking to somebody like Mama Extra Abibola Jai. Because Abibola Jai said yesterday that she has started since 1974. Do you understand? So when you want to take advice from superior from people, you take advice from superior. Oh yeah, okay, she anything, common sense in here. Or Rotia and Women Dagito Peso, third party influence in marriage is another headache entirely that is killing relationship. Aje Buru Tongue no Kura. Somebody that has lost it is looking for someone else to join the group with him or her. So, oh, you cannot afford to, to take advice for somebody from somebody who is just five years in relationship, possibly who has not even exchanged ring. Meanwhile, I want to parole ring more than five times. That one getting hold. When gold is changing, gold, gold, everything is changing. You ask for a change of ring. So you ask for another ring again entirely in, a, in another new fashion. You cannot expect me to keep the same 24 years ago uh, wedding band now, could possible now. So if you are taking advice from somebody who hasn't got experience in exactly what you are asking them from, you are going to fall foul. Oh my Lucia, you have to be placed in charge to give advice to that person. So you look up to somebody else or above you. You take advice from superior. What my client said yesterday, it moves me. And that's why this program came on. And then couple uh, in, in conjunction with my master topic, uh, a discussion before she started her program yesterday. That's why I chose this topic today that the Holy Spirit wanted to come. That's why two people have said it in my ear. Do you understand? I have never in my life said to a woman to leave her husband. And I will never. Because relationship involvement is dangerous in you. If you get yourself in relationship, you are going to be four foul. You are going to be messed up. They will talk about you, they will discuss you, and they will hate you when they settle their differences. So the only way to go about it is to see if you can cancel both parties, which we taught under family law. Look for reconciliation. That is under family law. We taught it under family law. You get reconciliation. If you don't get reconciliation, then it means they have made up their mind. Let me give you a typical scenario. The typical scenario is a client that instructed me on a, divorce, on a divorce matter. That client came to me with tears and asked me that I should proceed with divorce. Unknowingly to me that the husband belongs to a church that I go to, 24 years or 25 years in my service in that church. I didn't know that the husband belongs to. So when I discovered that the husband is a church member, I sought the, the advice, not on a marital level, on a spiritual level of my reverend. Immediately, I sought the superior advice. I said, listen, you know me very well. I don't take cases from, from this place. But for one reason or another, something happened. But my client is not a church member. It is the husband that comes here. So when he talks to me, I spoke with the, the husband called me for, to, for me to, to give advice. I said to the husband, I cannot give you advice. I'm already acting for your wife. He was shocked. So I find a way to do reconciliation. I called my reverend. Reverend agreed that we should go on reconciliation. We chose a date for the parties to attend church building, church um, um, meeting room, so that we can give advice. This is Church of England. So the reverend is a superior white man. Even though I'm older than him, but he's a superior, uh, spiritually superior. So, well, academically he might be, but gift from God, he might not, I don't think he's, spiritual, he's superior to me. But academically, in, in, in job, I think he is. So what I'm saying is that we've, we create a date to have time for reconciliation. You know, as soon as we went off phone and finished and gave a date and discussed, my client called back when she got to her house and said to me that, listen, I don't want any reconciliation. I want you to proceed for divorce. 
what would you do in that situation? I am a lawyer. Don't forget. She called me and she's a client. So she has the overall control. It's her home. She said, no, I don't want reconciliation. Proceed to divorce. So I proceeded. I advised my reverend what the client said. And I said to the husband that, I'm sorry, there will be no date to attend for reconciliation because your wife wants us to proceed. But after today, please, I would not like to discuss with you anymore on this matter for conflict, conflict of interest. I need to concentrate on my client. So I shot, I shot the husband off. So I proceeded and make application to the family court for divorce to be, for application to dissolve their marriage. Let me tell you the reason why you cannot get involved in relationship is that it's not yours, that you have to keep your head high and get away from it. If you cannot advise both parties at the same time, you need to back off. As a professional person, I made the application, the court acknowledges and the court served the husband, the document for the divorce document. You know, as soon as they served the husband, they are both Nigerians from Igbo. What happened is that the, late, the man must have called his family in Nigeria and said that he's been served with paper for divorce. You know the lady that has been pressing me that I should proceed with divorce, he doesn't want to, she doesn't want to hear any story. You will be shocked. You will be shocked that as a matter of urgency, she called us and said to us that we must not proceed with the divorce anymore. That her husband family has been calling her and she doesn't want the divorce to go ahead anymore. Did you see that? This is on a professional level. It's got nothing to do with private uh, life. Professional career, professional line. She called me. She called my secretary and said, listen, the application should not proceed anymore. They should not, uh, we should not respond to call. And I was going to initiate bailiff to enforce service. I was under instruction, so I was going to initiate bailiff to, 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 to produce, you know, to go and enforce service of documents. But she called into the office, which is documented, and we have already filed that into our record, that she has said to us that we must not proceed, you know, we must not proceed with the divorce application anymore. What would you do in that case? This is the person that is pressing, good morning, hold on. This is the pres person that is pressing us that we should proceed. So it's a lesson to learn in call. You cannot get involved anyhow, carelessly. You have to apply wisdom. Thank you. Hello. Hello, thank you. Hello, go good, morning. good morning. Go ahead from Thailand. Thank you from Thailand, plus 66. Thank you. Thank you. The same way it is spiritually. We haven't deviated. Sorry, sir. We haven't deviated from the topic. So that person that is writing, you need to follow it on yourself. But we have not deviated. We are still on the topic. Carry on, sir. Yeah, we can hear you, but some people are saying that they can't hear you. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, my dear, is for, 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 uh, the way that the couple is Christian, yeah, in a certain way, where the couple is a Christian, 
it is very simple because the Bible says the man should love the wife. The wife is to respect her own husband. It is a natural thing. It is the way you want to get this person based on what is happening around around the what happens in, in secular media, then they get it wrong. If the woman is to see her room, the man naturally is definitely not her wife. So this thing they are simple for to practice the reality is the challenge that that's what I'm thinking. You can't you can't uh, Someone that uh, wants some that has a principle, you know that you know, this is the way this is done, then you want to uh, go about it in another way. It's not going to work. It's going to be a lot of problems. So that is the challenge many people have said. They think marriage relationship is a relationship between a boy and a girl. It's not a boyfriend and girlfriend relationship. Marriage is a serious thing. So for the challenge people have said is, they go into uh, the, the motives and the, uh, the idea they have about marriage is what gets them to hit the rock. If they understand what marriage is, they won't have any issue. They won't have any issue. Therefore, if they go to follow the law of the land, or if they go to look at it spiritually, if they will follow the principle, in an institution, every institution has its own principle. It is not only, okay, uh, experience is important, but the one that had experience, you need to start it with experience. You need to start it with experience. All you gotta know, all you gotta do is to learn the principles and be willing to learn some things and learn again. Humility is very important on the part of the man Thank and on the part of the woman. Because two people cannot work together and they be agree. So from the beginning, there has to be understanding of the institution that they are moving into. Otherwise, it's going to hit the rock. It doesn't matter how many years they go into it. They can be in there for 10 years. If the foundation is wrong, there will definitely be crisis. And when the crisis is struck, and if they are not able to wither it, it's a result of to, uh, uh, to, the, to, to, to irreconcilable differences. And so, so the, the woman must be willing to fulfill her to love her husband. The husband must be willing. Uh, the woman must be willing to respect and honor her husband. The husband must be willing to love and fulfill his obligation. In, in a situation where the man cannot meet up with his uh, 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 obligation, with his responsibility, the woman should also know if that is not the way are, the man has been. He should be, he should be patient. To, 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 to help the man go through that period. Because challenge is to, to come to people. That's Marriage right. is made for two, two people That's right. that are mature, That's right. that right. understand what it takes for That's two people right. to marry. It, it is not made for two, two, two young people who, right. uh, who don't know what marriage is. It is not boyfriend and girlfriend relationship. Hmm. It is a serious matter. Hmm. It doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are. It is not that uh, it's about the understanding of the principle of the institution that you are getting into. Hmm. Otherwise, you will be living based on what you see on TV. Hmm. You know, it, it's very, it, it sounds very funny why people that or they got married and everything was fine. When you get abroad, they not have any issues because uh, maybe the, the man is trying to treat the, the woman the way things are done outside. Yes, the laws of the land they count. Hmm. But you must not forget where you started from, the principle that brought us together. Hmm. Otherwise, you may think, okay, I, I, I'm a woman, I have my own right. Yes, this is what the Lord says. You are the one that will regret at the end of the day. Hmm. You are the one that will regret at the end of the day. So the, the, the major thing is this. I'm not saying the man, they have upper, upper hand, but understanding of the principle governing marriage hmm. is very important. And the, abil uh, the uh, ability of both parties to be able to listen hmm. to each other. They should be able to talk even when they have differences. Not to be the mindset of, okay, I want to go, I want to go. You can go. Imagine that lady that you say, why to, why to leave a uh, house at five plus uh, the point. Imagine if she has already left, who is going to leave? The other will go and marry another person. Hmm. The lady may just be there and she will, she will be a 
So much, sir. Thank you. If you want your marriage to be successful, so this thing is is very simple. If everybody will do what they are supposed to do, mm -hmm. there will be no issue. There will be no crime. Thank you so when much. Thank issues, you. Thank issues, you. You fight together. Yes. To make exactly. Sure Thank you. You you made a wonderful point that I, I I I grabbed, which was one of the last points you said. It's not for marriage. Is not for children. I hundred percent agree with yeah, you. It's not for children at all. Can, sir, can you tell me how many years in your relationship now, your marriage now? Hello? Hello? Hello, okay. How many right. years are you in your marriage now? I'm not, I'm not married. I'm not married. I'm trying to get married. Okay. I'm not married. I'm planning, I'm getting ready to marry. To okay. get married now. I'm a young guy. So you're planning to marry, yeah? Are you an expert yeah, in any way in, in a relationship? Are you an expert? Are you in, a, in that field? Do you work as a specialist? No, I don't work as a specialist. I, okay. grew, up in a, I grew up in a proper home. Okay. And I'm a pastor. Okay. Thank you very much for your contribution. Excellent. I grew up in a proper home. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Yeah, bye. Bye. There is so much happening when it, when it talks about when we when we want to talk about issue of relationship expert experience understanding what is happening around you it's not easy the topic is that is it the ego that is finding the difference that is making us having the differences or um, creating a gap that gap is it the stature when we say stature 
we put it together as status, wealth, pride. What is causing it? Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Good morning, ma. Good, Good morning. morning. Thanks for coming on board with us. Thank you. Yeah, I just want to contribute a little bit of the information or my own experience. The thing about the marriage is when a lady marry out of pity, hmm. like if you marry out of pity, if you go there, you're going to have a problem. That's point number one. Hmm. Like, let's assume that we say you marry for a pity. Then when you get there, you realize you cannot cope again. When the, the love is going to die, and if they keep forcing you, forcing you, there is no, or is it that you die there or you leave the marriage? The second one is that when a man doesn't give a lady a uh, freedom, freedom, like, let's say, because she said, ah, I'm the head, I'm the head, and everything you take on board is, I'm the head, I'm the head. You don't even chip in just 30% of freedom for the lady in communication, in going out, in all that kind of a thing. The lady will see the marriage as a bondage. And there is no how you'll be in a bondage that you will be happy. If you're not happy, you're going to leave. The, our own culture from Yoruba is, is like we should be submissive to our husband. But when we see that this life we are in, in a, is a computer life, we cannot just be like 100%, 100% submissive. If a man wants 100% submissive the, at this age, the marriage is going to crash. So it, it has to be a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left. We need to meet at a point because we all came from different background. So we should give ourselves, like, let's meet at the point. Let's meet ourselves. What are our differences? What is the differences between me and you? Let's agree and meet at the point. Then it will work out for us. But as it is now in this country, some are bringing the total idea of Nigeria like a... I am the head, I am the head. They don't want to give him freedom for a lady. Sister, mm. it cannot work. It won't work because this country, they will say, because you are in the UK, I brought you to the UK, I cannot talk to you. You can talk, but ask for my own opinion as well. You cannot just do the talking and finish everything without me chipping in one or two things. They do that in, in Nigeria and they get away with it. But this country is not going to work. My own advice is that we should try at least and meet at the middle and see the difference. Oh, what have we got to say? In any respect of the let's meet at the middle. So everything will work out for us. This is my own little opinion. Thank you, sister. Thank you so much. Right. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Bless you. I want to respond straight away as well because I will forget if I don't respond immediately. See, there is an adage in my language, in Yoruba language. Two of those adages, I want to say it in Yoruba. So if you don't understand Yoruba, my apologies, but there is no way I can interpret it in English. The first one is Oberisawanu, Olongo Lori Oko. The second bit of it, ni pami kushori ben besoko. Obi ni so wano, olongo lori oko. Mami inku, o shori ben besoko, afe ne kwa se kwa. If care is not taken, if care is not taken, Like Mama said yesterday, Reverend Esther Abimbola Ajayi. I love one thing she mentioned yesterday, and I want to say back to you guys there. Mugu lokuni, tio brimba smart. Mugu lokuni, tio brimba smart. The reason why I agree with Mama, there are so many instances. That made me agree in my heart with what Mama said yesterday. We pay They are strong physically, but mentally they are not. 
you cannot live with a man for that period of years and not knowing that be there are so many instances that allows me to agree with mama yesterday but the recent one is just only some weeks or three weeks ago in my household I have more than 15 pairs of wrist wash but I saw one particular wrist wash that catches my attention and I love that wrist wash dearly and I wanted to buy it <laughs> I looked at that wristwatch. I looked at it, I looked at it, I carry it, I carry it. And I said to myself in my heart that I'm not gonna use my money to buy it. I'm gonna sweet talk my husband. You know what I did? That is why I agree with mama. Oh le arrogant go ding I can balo anybody. Oh no look back. He knows I have wristwatch. He knows I have more than 10. Oh, can't say, but he knows I have plenty. And they are names. But what I want to say to you is that but they are strong physically, but emotionally strong. I went to my husband and I said to him that, my dear, I'm more like I go to Mufera. Oh, they keep me straight away. Only, ah, ah, toxic. I go to Mufera. She bought more than ten wristwatch. No, le. We need a bear called now D. Man, she buy in a my dear. We need more like it. More catch attention. We more like it. We need 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 more like Go to back, baby. Sorry, you hold on me. So, my show and I do here. My sweet talk here. Can share my phone or He bought that wristwatch for me. She move far better for me. She move low here. Me. She move finger. She move land. Can't can't do so. Me. Me. You land nothing. Me. You shake. Can't can. Tani mo go judi afi Christi ali wile she. Obaton dari e da. Shubo money li aye ba. Ti o ba low wear is a different matter. But mo mo poli afford wristwatch ni. So mo tizi. Ora. So not that can agree in my heart, Lana, with so many other instances, pay Mama smart but all to so to be never go to more bush in the ratica you won't Emma gets me wrong, all of you. I am not talking about a violent man that has problem in mentality in his way of dealing with women. I have already excluded those men in my dealings. With due respect, I have excluded men that are violent. You know they irritate me. But also, okay, no, yeah, well, they irritate me personally. I don't care about opinion. Everybody is entitled to their opinion. That is my stand in that area. I will never support a man to no opinion. Regardless of being no opinion actually run to, how that man, woman can, man can be running, I will not support you as a man. Be violent against your woman. Take a shot and get out of that house. By the time you come back, things will have calmed down. So I'm not supporting that violence. So I have already excluded those man in my talk. On this topic, I have excluded them entirely. I am talking of normal relationship. I am I have excluded those violent men. I am talking about normal relationship at the moment. Those relationships are not normal. They are eccentric, they are sick, they are mentally derided. They need help. Some of the men need to be sectioned straight away. They need to go to their family and check them. So don't get me right, wrong. I, ha I don't have soft touch for that area. You know what I like and you know what I don't like. I can see some comment. Don't bother yourself. Don't worry. I am 100% okay with what I'm saying. I am not supporting those women and men that are violent against their wife and then force them into to have sex with them. Abba. Abba. No, it's not right. So I'm not supporting those ones. I am talking of proper marriage, proper relationship. Relationship that relationship that, not, that does not condone violence. Relationship that that have passion for each other. Relationship that, that think twice before they get angry. I'm talking about those ones. I'm not talking about the ones that doesn't think and acted irrationally. Destroy things in the house when it's angry. I'm not talking about those ones. I have already excluded excluded them. 
they are not in my record. They are not in my record. Because I hate men beating women. They are not as strong as you. So I don't like it. So I have excluded them. I might be like you once in a topic. They are not part of this topic. They are not part of us. They are something else. There are cases on domestic violence. And I deal with them on domestic violence. And that's the way it is. So don't bother yourself. I'm not dealing with them. I'm dealing with normal relationship, normal marriage, normal uh, uh, or married partner, normal people that live together. I'm not even dealing with boyfriend and girlfriend. Because what do they know about relationship? <laughs> so we're talking about the right thing here. Hello? 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 Yeah, hi there. Are you trying to contribute into what we are talking about here? Yes. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, Good you. morning, ma'am. Good morning, my dear. Go ahead. Yes, ma'am. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am. You know, you've been such an inspiration to us. So thank you. Thank you, Carol. Thank you. God bless you. Yes, yes, ma'am. I just want to, I, it's just, my own is just a very, very quick one. It's a very quick one. It's just that most people, we're talking about marriage and we're talking about relationship right now. But I want us to get it right. No need can get there, right? We sisters, we are we mothers. Hmm. We people that are ready, I, I'm, I'm going to first talk to people that are yet to get married. Hmm. You have the right to control, you have the right to know what you're getting into right now. I am married. Marriage is an institution. But I want to tell you something. Don't rush into it. Hmm. Don't go there because other people are already married. Thank you. Sister, Thank you. You make a big mistake. Thank you. There is no little mistake. When you see a man you want to get married to, you're in a relationship right now, there is no little mistake, my sister. Hmm. There is no little thing to say, I'm going to take this thing with a pinch of salt. Hmm. Don't ever. So people will say, oh, this man is not, hey, when he has big money, he will give me money. My sister, when he has big money, he will never give you anything. Abby? It starts from little. Oh, you talking about your kids? Oh, you talking about your kids? Like if I rush it, me. Exactly, ma. Oh, you talking about your kids? Oh, you talking about your kids? Anything you see in a man right now, if he can't give you anything now, he can never give you. That's if right. If he can't respect you now, he will never respect you. That's right. If he, if he doesn't take you to be anything to be important, if he's not ready to respect you, he will never respect you. That's right. Now let's go into the fact that you are now married. Hmm. My sisters, commitment, respect, consentment is important in marriage. Hmm. Yeah, this is in ego go I must have it. When you know your husband does not have enough to give you. Manage with what you have. My husband and I used to have a slogan. Baby, if we're drinking Gary in our house, nobody could have known. Until we step out of the door and we tell people, it's Gary we're drinking or with fish. It's Gary we're taking or we're not taking pizza. We're not taking pan and yam. It's Gary we're drinking. That is what people will do. But when you're, with, when you're with each other and you're content with what you have and you respect each other, and mind you, respect is reciprocal. Then a man will respect his wife, the wife will respect his man, will respect her husband. So when a woman that is handling more than your husband, I have been at the point in my life where I had more than my husband. And I thank God for grace. I thank God for my background. And I thank God for the belief in God. That will make you still know that your husband, even though handling not as much as you, is still the head of your house. You must give him that respect. Because it's not the one you respect him that you respect you. So exactly. most people don't do that. They let ego set in. Oh, I'm the one that's giving paper in this country. Therefore, whatever I say, you must just you must sub, you must subject the man to ridicule in front of your friends. Because you know that without you, it's nothing. How do you now expect such a man to respect you? How do you expect him to treat you right? Hmm. It's not going to work. We need to get back that into our senses and let us know that. It is not because you are higher today that means you have to make your husband become something of shame in front of your friends. No. Mm. You need to still respect him. And I will talk to the men too. Because your wife is any more than you. Therefore you feel you feel subject you feel inferior. Mm. And you know why those men start feeling inferior, they start misbehaving. Mm. No, it shouldn't be that way. Mm. You should learn to control your family. You are the head. You should step it in the head. Mm -hmm. So we women, we should just learn to be respectful. As man, you said it, that is all we're 
carry me along. Mm. There was a time I used to tell somebody, I used to tell my friend that I'm married. They used to be lower than me in years of marriage. Maybe they just got married. But I'm not that long to be married. But my parents have invited me things that will make, when I talk to people, they think I'm 30 years in marriage. Mm. So when you, when you, when, when, when you're married, it's an institution. When you're married and you're dead, you are the woman she learn to be in the place of God in your marriage. Pray about it. Put your marriage in, in heart. Sometimes when I get angry at my husband, I used to tell him, do you notice know that what we're angry or we're quarreling? If we're expecting something on the way, it doesn't work out. Hmm. It's not people so great to not come to a marriage that is not peaceful. Hmm. That is not that they have no understanding. It's not good. So we women, don't allow our party, don't allow people come into your marriage. Okay. Settle whatever is wrong with exactly. you and your husband. Exactly. Sit down, stop and look at me. Yeah. Wait for a time. I used to tell people, it is not every time a man is shouting and saying, oh, yeah, I hate you. You are just, oh, that's all I'm saying. Let him calm down. At that point, he won't listen to anything you are saying. Exactly. Thank it, you. It just look like two people that are shouting. Yeah, exactly. When he is calm. Thank you so much, my happy. sister. Exactly. Yeah, thank you. And you come down to his, and you come and see on his yeah, exactly. Thank you so much, sister. Let, all right. Thanks a lot. Let's allow other people to come in to call in. Thank that you so much. I I love your input. Thanks so much. Thank you, love. Thank you. Bye. Fantastic. Fantastic. The question is, what would God want me to do in this situation that would put you in the right thought pattern? That's somebody speaking. Another person says, experience is the best teacher. Only the victim of a marriage can be an expert. For you to be an expert, get married first. It is a rough road with patience, understanding, and many, many craziness. And someone says, we don't need teacher here, but experienced person. <laughs> please talk, call us. Tell mommy, my, please, mommy, tell call us to keep it brief. So when you call in, please try to be brief so that others can have a uh, chance to communicate with us as well. And then communication, it needs communication, respect, contentment, and faith. God is very important in marriage. Somebody said Western influence is not a standard for marriage. Somebody said, I tell you, you must be very matured, and we are not talking about age here. Good. Humility founded on the Bible precept, yes, but humility on the gallery acceptable. That's another point there. Somebody is raising so somebody says don't allow anybody into your marriage you know so people agree that those who violate their marriage vow they are not part of this topic those who are violence in their relationship they are not part of what we are talking here so a lot of people agree with me here that we are not talking about them. We are not putting them into this discussion. There are cases of domestic violence, so it's a different topic entirely. They are not even in relationship anymore. They are not in marriage. Any marriage that is founded, found, 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 this foundation is on violence, it's not a marriage. So we're not going into that. We're not even talking about them now. We're talking about normal people, normal people that their brain is always with them, that they are not aggressive, that they see their woman as their queen. They don't raise their hands against their woman, the mother of their baby mother of their child they have respect they don't talk down on women those are the people we are talking about that we are giving this topic to we are talking about a lady that have respect for her husband or a lady that are in a good relationship that needs somebody to just encourage her more this is what we are talking about a lot of people need somebody to look up to they need people to give them advice they need to know what to do marriage like people have said so far those who have called it is not a kiddie play ground it is not a kiddie playground at all. It involves a lot of... Believe me, the turbulence is high. The turbulence is like when you are in an aircraft and the wind is moving it left or right. You don't know whether it's going to come off or it will stay. But with a lot of endurance, it can stay. There is no marriage that doesn't face turbulence. But the one I don't condone is the one that got violence inside. When Mama Jayu was talking yesterday about her husband's family, the mother-in-law who insists that her, hus her, her son will not marry Mama Bimbola yesterday, she said, Joker. She even lucky she, they said it out. Some will not say it out. Mama Bimbola, 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 Mama Bimbola
awon egbon oko ton ma bara won jasinu won de le fe aburo won o won ma bara won jasinu igbeyawo ton ni a ma wo ma se ma se igbeyawo ton ni ko ni last ko ni last kere kere igbeyawo lo nti e o nse because it takes two people to understand marriage it's not four people marriage is not four people it's not three people only eyan meji lo exchange vow e gba bi se so fun yin ko nse eyan merin ma won lo exchange vow iyoku is tradition ka kan kara le oko mo ra ka respect won ton ba need respect yen ke yan toju won ton ba ti pe n tori e gba e toju e tori e gba ibowo we put them together as part of our family we look after them as if they are they are our sisters but when they start becoming ignorantly sick upstairs you have to give them harm's length like i said in my last topic last time there is no way you can please people and displease your destiny it comes to a certain stage in your life in your career you look at what god has done to you, for you you check everything from a to z what can go further than the listen hold on enough of this nonsense enough of this talking down on me enough of this saga and you put them in their seat put them in their husband's house put them in their bedroom in their children's house if they don't have husband because the moment you start taking third party into your marriage you are going to ruin it yourself that means that you are trying to please others ahead of your own destiny rara there are some things we should learn and understand in this situation some people does not have a destiny to marry but they have destiny to have child but they will be trying one of mama lose marriage yen ni ko si pon se they try to one mama marriage mama ja bolo won ni but it's not their fault agbele bu tun won gbe the cross they pick when they were coming the calabash they pick from olodu mare was a calabash of not having a husband it was a calabash that they are going to have children oluwa o bi mo se lo sinu aye they said it themselves look at the film they pick calabash and the calabash that they pick among the one that we left for them to pick the one they pick is that jackin lola elomi ani jackin lola ma je pe le ko won bi mo pe won fe lo lola laye ni o fe o fe tegbe o fe wa ni high places no won fe bi mo what would you do to that kind of person no fatly treatment can pay for it no pastor or prophetess can pray for it pray on that because olodu mari lo ba damage mu it is not you Igba Kalabash Ohun lo pe ni ayan mo ti a gbe wa lati odi orun Ohun lo to wa sona Akun leyan ni adaye ba oni adele aye tan oju nkan wa We have chosen what we will be on this planet God has given us the authority over things that we have chosen Because they get married does not make they must marry don't let us mix it up because so many times we make mistake aburo mi se yawo mi na fe lo se yawo oto logo osupa oto ni ti orun the destiny of sun is different from sky they're not the same i have said this repeatedly a lot of people go into jealous and as a result of that they ruin their life because their friend is getting doing well and they want to copy their friend their sister is getting better they want to copy their sister rara it cannot be like that you got to respect what you have seen yourself being lati kekere ni mo ti je oba soro soro sugbon mi ni se oro so so am oro so jura wa lo since i was younger i always defend matter Since I was younger, I when people say things and I know it's wrong, I defend it. So I've always got confidence to defend things from younger age. You cannot run ahead of destiny. If somebody say you are a slow maker, it is your destiny that is aligning things for you. It is not you. If somebody says that it took you longer than necessary, it is your destiny that is looking for a way out for you before they place you. You cannot go and dine with kings unless this time has come. Mama Esther Jaya, I repeat again. I will continue to mention her name in this program. She said that since she was younger, la wo unti yaso wo. Nothing but I want to one kekere. Lo wo awon ti ya si owo, ko wo ma wo le fa won. 
me or go yet to a farm won't be a more go ni. So when you are yaka yamming your mouth and wasting your tongue and saying rubbish about people, do you know them? Do you know what they are going through in their household? Do you know their family background? Do you know their history? If you don't understand things, ask questions. Find a way to have relationship and ask questions. Those who ask for a map does not lose road. When you ask for a road, you don't lose. That is the purpose of Tom Tom Police Station. I remember when I first returned back to United Kingdom in the 90s. My father says to me, when you are going out and you miss your way, go to a police station, the nearest police station, and ask the officers, where is so 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 place? The first place I will ever ask for that direction was Peckham Police Station. When I was going to Southampton Way, Lakana Spears Garden, to go and see a beautiful auntie that I love dearly. So I misses my way, and it wasn't long that I get I came back from Nigeria. It was within one month of me returning back to my country of birth. So I misses my way. I went into police station. I said to the officers, I said, morning, officer. They said, good morning. I said, listen, I have just returned back to my country of birth. I misses my way. I am going to also place. About four policemen stood up straight away. They were ready to help me. They said, hold on. Where are you going? Give me your address. I gave them what my father wrote for me. So I gave it to them. They looked at it. They said, oh, you're not far from where you are going. Take this direction and they drew it for me. If you don't ask questions, you cannot have an answer. So you will continue to hurt yourself in marriage, relationship, in dealings with people. Look at me. I am not a friend carrier. So how do you want to know about me? Unless you move to me. How do you know who I am? Me, oh Lord, there is no one person that can say I am your best friend because I don't have one. And it's just ikiloni. Since I was younger, I have been told that, oh Lord, I will live with Much a mistake. I want more to be me. I'm going to be my baby. I'm going to be my I'm going to be my baby. I'm going to be my baby. I'm going to be my baby. I'm So if you don't follow instruction, how are you not going to get it wrong? When somebody has told you when you were younger, maybe you were only 14 years or 15 years old, the message came. Be thirteen, Sherry or Mother Cack, the churches, not to your phone. What is your big bag? Wait a petty way. But if you don't follow that instruction, you now end up having problem in your marital life, and you are now seeking advice from somebody that doesn't have experience as you. Haba, you killed your relationship yourself. So the only way to control your home, to hold your home tight, like Mama said yesterday night, is to first thing is to have respect for your man. I am not talking about the violent relationship. Don't get me mixed up. I have already excluded those guys. They are not in my record for now. I will be back to see if I can correct their brain. So you need to exclude that area but you must, you must, you must take advice from superior, those who have experience. Is the only way out of your problem. Another thing, you must respect your husband. You know, if you don't have respect, you don't know how to control tongue, you don't know how to talk, you don't know, you don't know how to come back to your house on time, you don't know how to cook, you don't know how to, 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 to give him what he wants, you are not going to get away with anything. I am speaking back in English, so don't worry. It's okay. There are some things that you want to address in language, so that's why. Don't worry. So do you understand? Respect like that young sister that called last said. It's reciprocate. You have to reciprocate respect. Listen, Joseph, I said to you in the Bible, had 12 sons. Don't get it messed up. He had daughters as children. Have you ever seen in the Bible anywhere women are mentioned as the forefront leader in the Bible? So everything happened on this planet has happened 
from previous planets. The way out is that we must concur, we must be respectful, we must be obedient. If you want to keep your marriage, the way out is that you need to start practicing things. There are some sweet, sweet talks that you need to start practicing. Give your husband a nickname. Don't just mention his name, bam, bam, tokumbo, bam, bam, tokumbo. That is a good name when you to remember the time you were younger. But at the same time, when you are in a public glare, try that in my gajarasi there. Jacob has more than one daughter, my brother. Don't get this mixed up. They were not mentioned. The one daughter you know is the one that they wanted to force to have sex with, that his, her brothers went to go and fight for her and brought her back home when they, 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 those boys wanted to sleep, rape her. That's the only daughter you guys know. Daughter, the, Joseph, uh, Jacob has more than one daughter, but they were not mentioned. Many, many like that. So the way out is that respect is what we, we should stick on. In women Loka, how many books have you read that is more than ours? At the age of, I've, I've started schooling at the age of three years old. As a teacher, I have started classroom at three years old. And I am still in classroom as we speak. As a lawyer, you cannot come out of classroom. But I have started since age of three. In terms of high qualifications, I've got it. Why would you not respect your man? Let me tell you one thing. If you know you have passion for legal career and you want to be an accountant or medical doctor, you should be sourcing for a husband in that area that can fit your caliber. You don't go and source for a husband of mechanic and then later on come back and say, it's not my caliber. It's not in my class. I beg your pardon. You made it wrong because you knew he was a mechanic, a roadside mechanic, before you went for him. So if you want to suit your caliber, then you marry to somebody who belongs to your carcass. I've always known that I'm going to be a lawyer. So my source is to look for a lawyer or an accountant as a husband. I am not looking, but God fetched one for me. But that was what is in my brain, that I will not marry somebody that I have more qualification than so that it will not affect my dealings. But to oh God who wants to make it happen, he gave it to me the way I wanted it. But I have always known my husband in my dream, in my description. They have already described the type of person I will meet in England and he will be my husband. So everything is about direction. You cannot go into a higher level and want to marry somebody who is a school sad. Of course, the inferiority complex will be there. And he will jealous of your progress. He will not want you to move on. So why are we not getting it right? We're not getting it right because of egoism. Because of stature. And when I say stature, I did not mean, mean your height from 5 foot 8 or 5 foot 7. I mean I put everything together in stature. Your wealth, your status, your good looking, your success. And this is the reason why we're having that problem. A lot of marriage, they lost it the moment they go back to Nigeria. Because they lost the culture when they left Nigeria. They took on the white man's culture. So by the time they go back to Nigeria, they want to carry on with the white man's culture. They forget that the man was quiet for you because of the law on land. On the land. But as soon as the man takes you back to his father's same land. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Those who have not sent you will feel sorry for you. So it's not the same thing. So the, the advice is that we must respect them. We must try to stay in the house and be the wife and be the mother of our children. We must be a role model. <laughs> you understand? We must be a role model. We must show a sign of, of, of seniority. We must lay good example for our children, for our younger sisters, our younger brother's wife. We must show to people that we are learned, we are educated. We must even show to those who are in Nigeria that we have exposed, but our own is different. We are better because we have put a lot of things, we have incorporated a lot of things into our marriage. So it makes us understand each other very well. The problem is the arrogancy of it. And the moment we take that one out, 
I think we can have fine marriage. The rate of divorce, separation, and uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, what is it called? Broken home is quite high. You understand? It's quite high. And the only way to help out, to control this, is for us to, to, to keep on educating people, enlightenment. The only way out is enlightening people in the way to deal with their husband. For example, Sisi Onoge, you finish at work at 5 o'clock. You're supposed to reach your house at 6 o'clock. You went to a friend's house and you didn't get home to 9 o'clock. Tell me which husband will accept that nonsense from you, Sisi Onoge. A woman should be thirsty, thirsty of her home after work. If you take your home as your priority, things will be more relaxed. An angry stomach is an angry mind. If you get home before him, why could you not cook food? Why could you not cook food when you get home before him? Why are you expecting him to come back and then come and share the kitchen with you? In the first instance, kitchen is not his place like President Buhari said last time. So we need to get things right. In terms of education, we have it. So people should not tell us that we are we are old system, we are we are this, we are that. I got married to my husband in 1993. And in that period of 1993 to date, are you telling me that I have not seen turbulence? Are you telling me that everything is rosy from day one I exchanged things since 1993? The cheating husband is a different case entirely. We'll be back on them. Don't let us mix topics together so that we don't lose our mind. But we'll be back on cheating husband. Don't worry. We are just loading it. Eh? When Sisi Ologe go to work, Sisi Ologe will not return to the house. This is not for a particular person. This is for all women that do it, that go from work to their friends' house and go and gossip. Go from, from work to party. Or Sisi Ologe that goes to party every weekend. Every weekend. And you want to have a good home. Party, 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 party. Ewa ma agba lera. E ma agba party lera. E ma agba party lera. E gba Saturday, e gba Friday, e gba Sunday. She ma mi usori bembe soko. And you go to party, you get drunk. Tell me people who go to party who doesn't drink. When you go to party, you get drunk. You lose your sense, you lose your mind. And what come back, and I one night stand. And what come back, and what come back, and what come back, You understand? And what come back, and what come back, because I'm going to tell you, 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 and as a result of that, since you look at it, you know you are not in the You understand? Things like that, in call. You understand? So you, you got to really, really, really check where the problem is coming from and see a way forward. But like I said in my conclusion, before I leave you, I want us to understand the fact that respect is reciprocate and that's all we need that's all we need to give them they're not asking for more much if you respect your husband you will get a lot from it but if you don't respect then you are stuck you're on your own understand if you don't respect you are stuck and you're on your own Oh, sorry, that person, you can call back. I didn't realize you were on, you know, because our people love me to be giving advice when I do topic like this. So I, it's important that I always give advice back straight away. So that's just the situation. I want us to get it right. I don't want us to get it wrong. Because the moment we get it wrong, then we're stuck. We're stuck in a way that we will not be able to control things. Thank you everybody for for your contribution you are immensely important to me in my program and i'm very grateful to you all but you know i love music so i want to finish up with music
And that's what I can say to us, you know, just try to be respectful in your marriage, in your relationship, and see how far you can go. If you have any problem, you want to contact me for advice, you know where I am, come to me, I'll give you advice. I am not worried to give advice from time to time. You know me very well, so I am blunt in my advice. I'll tell you what you need to know. But it pitches my heart yesterday when the young man says that I always have soft touch for, for women. I have soft touch for women because they are not as strong as men in domestic violence area. And that is why that pain my heart a lot. I hate men beating women. I hate those men. They need to be aware of that. I don't have respect at all for any man that does that, you know. Thank you, thank you for your participation, God bless you. for this program. Don't worry about my legal work. I, I run my own practice. So I always have time. This is what my destiny chose the most within love. So I love it. Thank you, dear. Thank you.
Senator Mbo Mishota, so be careful. For Senator Mbo Mishota, O Milabu, O Milabu, and the Koko of Mbo Mishota. So I have no enemies. Bless you all. I am only following my destiny. Anybody can come online, but watch the language you use. I don't care what is happening elsewhere. I just want to focus on this chapter, this program. But Send Tumba or me shorter. Do you understand? So don't worry about me. I have no enemies. And I can tell you. Send Tumba or me shorter. You wine, you drink, you bath, you, you, you clean up with water every day. You use water. That's the way I am. Exactly. Traffic will be one by one, so don't worry. Ben, Susie, I love you too as well. One more of you. Thank you. I want to appreciate you all. I want to move on now into legal work. I want to go into legal work now. I have serious cases, so I need to start speaking to the chief immigration officers on this matter. So I want to go now. This is what I have planned. This is what is in my diary this morning to do this. So I clear my diary now for this work. This is 12 o'clock. 
after lunch, I'm going for lunch. After lunch, then I'm going to leave work for the rest of the day. It's 7 o'clock today, the evening. So I want to show my own. I want to share that one. I'm going to be from 1 o'clock after lunch till 7 o'clock in the office. Carry on as I go. For so, legal work. So I'm going to share that one. I'm going to talk about no robot of my share. If you don't know how to work, don't spend money. That's how I train my children. You understand? Don't spend money that you don't have. That's another advice outside what you have discussed. Spend money when you have it. God bless you. I love you all. I have to go now. Until next time we see again. I know alone will be easily. But Bushet about that will my yours will you will not lag. The blessing of the Lord will not depart from you. The Lord will send a destiny apart to you. You will continue to receive assistance from people you know and you do not know. You will not die younger. The Lord will ease all the pain on, on platform anywhere there's problems. God will intervene. The Lord Almighty God will intervene into everybody's homes. Marriage will have state stability. An institution that is very dangerous and delicate and it's not difficult and it's difficult to contract with. But once you are inside, you need to trade carefully. But I pray, I pray that Almighty God will not leave us. He will give us wisdom and, and knowledge to be able to control things in our house, our household. In our works of life, respect also to our boss and our superior is reciprocate. And to the destiny of Epa, I pray that our Nifi Biraga call the destiny of Epa Kakodjalare. We will not use our proud pride and arrogancy to step on our destiny, Epa. I pray that the Lord will direct our mind. We will watch and know that we have reached our destiny, Epa. God will guide and bless everyone of your home. God will direct us. He will order our path. We will not labor in vain. And this is Shefa Melumije. Our, our, our women out there, and they learn to nick back. She is she. Adabiloku. Take care. I love you all. Bless you.